In terms of the overall effect, um, the face is significantly more attractive at ovulation. That's what our results show. It's yeah, quite startling because normally you, you don't see that kind of difference on a daily basis when you look at yourself in the mirror. It just, it's not there. But when you've got two images right in front of you, you see all sorts of just little changes. Scientists think these are all cues signaling health, like more color in the cheeks and lips, and pupil dilation, a sign of excitement. But incredibly, ovulation might also make women's faces more symmetrical. Symmetry is known to, uh, to vary across the menstrual cycle very subtly. The symmetry of your nose, symmetry of your ears could alter. These changes are caused by the powerful hormones which spread through a woman's body as an unfertilized egg travels from the ovary to the uterus. One effect is water retention in soft tissue, and this could equal out slight asymmetries in the face. I mean, even the shape of my face looked different um, two weeks apart. One's more round, complexion, everything. I found the stunning difference was in my lips. My lips were a lot rosier and redder on one uh, picture than they were on the other. And I think my cheeks were slightly rosier as well, and I was surprised. These changes might not only attract a new mate, they could also arouse a woman's long-term partner while she's fertile. The subtle cues that are carried in, for instance, somebody's face, are having a huge impact on our life as we walk around the street and look at people. So how do women feel about the news that men can tell when they're fertile? Making us humans more like this than we thought. Ah, uh, well, as a married woman, maybe I should never go out when I'm ovulating. <laughs> it does make me feel a bit, a bit scared, I suppose. Well, not, not fearful, but it's worrying that they can know and detect that about me um, when I'd be something I'd rather keep to myself, I suppose. But there is a way women can keep this to themselves. Makeup. Cosmetics mimic many of the facial changes caused by ovulation. They help women look attractive, healthy, and ready to conceive every day of the month. So it's impossible to tell when ovulation might be boosting their looks. Makeup is also a powerful weapon in the war against aging. Men are very uh, strongly attracted to women who are in the kind of prime of reproductive life, you know, 18, 25 to 30. Older women then face an increasing problem in that as they get older, the battle begins to get an awful lot harder. So in many cultures, putting on makeup has become a ritual for women. They try to cover up blemishes on the skin, which could be seen as signs of illness and age. And they exaggerate features associated with health, youth, and fertility. This usually means having eyes which look large and clear, cheeks with a warm dash of color, full lips, and thick, glossy hair. And so for women, they spend an inordinate amount of time on their face, on their hair, because this is their signal that they're giving off to the world about how reproductively capable they are. You know, males will look at a female face and they will make an instant decision, if you like, about whether that person is attractive and whether they want to kind of be with that person. 